Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from Santa Maria. Here today I had the opportunity to attend the annual Strawberry Field Day, where Danny Lou Ramirez addressed growers on the benefits of micro-irrigation technology. It's kind of a win-win situation. You put out the micro-sprinklers, you're creating a really humid environment, which persists love and might hate. Mainly the benefits for micro-sprinklers that we've seen is a savings in water, and a, a reduction in energy use, which is with two big main benefits, and also mite suppression, keeping the humidity levels high, suppressing mites, and also promoting beneficial populations like persimilis. Persimilis need humidity for egg hatch, and those are the main reasons growers are moving towards microsprinklers, and we've seen just a lot of benefits come from um, less labor for moving pipe, um, you know, easy to keep them in the field and spray over the top of them. Uh, there's just so many benefits to microsprinklers and moving into the future we're seeing um, problems trying to control mites with pesticides and a lot of growers are even thinking that they might not even be able to grow strawberries. They're having such huge problems with controlling mites and being able to control mites uh, in an organic way with water using humidity is just a great benefit for everybody, conventional growers and um, organic growers. And that's why those are the main benefits of microsprinklers. Due to the severity of the drought we're experiencing, any means of increasing the efficiency of our irrigation systems is worth looking into. Read more about these things in Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.